today I'll share with you 10 tips about photographing trees. Basically, I will show you some photos and discuss those photos uh, and draw some conclusions and some tips from those uh, photos. Hey everyone, my name is Toma, Photo Tom here on YouTube. This channel is all about landscape and travel photography, so if you're interested in this kind of topics, make sure to subscribe for more similar videos. Now, let's make this video as short as possible, as on point as possible, and let's start with tip number one, which is details. Now, you don't need to photograph the entire tree. Uh, this is one of the mistakes that I see. People are trying to frame the entire tree. It's enough to find an interesting light and uh, sunset light or sunrise light. It works the best, but for example, during autumn, you can have uh, even midday light uh, that goes through the leaves of the trees and uh, creates some really beautiful uh, patterns. So what you need to do is find an interesting part of the tree and just photograph that, just frame only that area. Or maybe you have a little bit of light that shines on uh, an area of the tree and you can frame only that specific part of the tree. Tip number two is photograph reflections of trees. So very simply said, you have a lake or a surface of water. You need to have the surface really settled. You don't need wind on the surface of the water. And then you have some trees on the edge. Uh, and when you're photographing the reflection of those trees together with those trees, it creates a really beautiful and interesting image. Tip number three, look for interesting shapes. Uh, not all trees are straight. You can have really interesting shapes uh, that are created by the trunks of the trees. So just frame that, but make sure you frame those trees in a way that separates the tree from the rest of the forest. And here we have, I think, uh, two options. The first option is to have some fog in the forest, as you can see in this photo. So the tree is very easily separated from the rest of the trees. Uh, second, you can separate the tree by using uh, an open aperture. If you don't have fog, then you can have an open aperture and then you kind of blur the, the background. Tip number four, a lonely tree on the edge of a hill. This is one of those photos that go into the minimalist uh, type of shots and they always look really great. It doesn't matter if you have clouds um, above the tree or you have an empty sky, it will always look great. And it's one of the rare occasions where I photograph the entire tree. Tip number five, look for interesting roots. Roots can look uh, very interesting it's just a matter of finding a cool way to photograph it. And in this photo, as you can see, the, the roots of the trees are above me. That, that is one way I like to shoot them. I, I don't like to shoot them straight down because they, they kind of lose, you kind of lose perspective. But if you can sit yourself lower than the roots of the tree, this means that the, the tree is up on, 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 some, on something and you can go a little bit lower and then you can capture the roots that go uh, up to the tree and then the tree. I think this is a, a, a win situation. Tip number six, look for color separation. Uh, very simply said, look for a tree that looks completely different from all the rest of the trees that are around it and just photograph it. Tip number seven, uh, whenever there is fog, you can always search for the treetops that are kind of lost into the fog. And, um, and in a situation like this, I, I like to photograph multiple rows of trees and this creates depth in the photo. Tip number eight, during winter, I like searching for trees that still have some autumn leaves on them. And when you frame them in a way that um, you really put those leaves into perspective, then I think it looks really, really well. You can also increase the saturation uh, for those leaves and make them pop. And then you have a really beautiful and powerful contrast. Tip number nine, when you are inside the forest, search for trees that separate themselves from the rest of the forest with different color of the trees. Uh, you had a previous tip when the trees separated from the rest of the trees, but it you are outside of the forest and now you are inside the forest and whenever you find trees like that photograph them because they look really really well of course that you need to separate those trees from the rest of the forest again you can use the fog or an open aperture 
to achieve that. And tip number 10, you can shoot trees in silhouettes and this is achievable uh, very easy when there is fog or during sunrise or sunset when you're photographing into the, um, into the sun. Now, during sunrise or sunset in bowls that the trees are on the edge of something, you don't need other trees um, behind those trees because you will not be able to separate the, the silhouettes very well, but with uh, heavy fog, then you have the opportunity to create these really beautiful silhouettes. There you have it, 10 tips on how to photograph trees. If you have something to add, use the comment section below. If you want to know more about my instructional videos, I have my videos on Skillshare. You can watch them 14 days for free if you use my affiliate link that is uh, in the description of this video. And until next time, keep on photographing. It's the only way that you can get better. Bye-bye.